filing a compilation of <coughs> certified copies of Mr. Bell's criminal history for purposes of the record. <coughs> we will be recommending to count one, like to have the possibility of parole plus 60 months firearm enhancement, $500 crime victim penalty assessment, $100 DNA, restitution of joint and several, any co defendant found guilty by later order of this court, no contact with the victim family members, Sierra, McCartney, and her sons, Titus, Kate, and Travis. Count three, 68 months, Department of Corrections, a 60 months firearm enhancement, 36 months community custody, consecutive to count one, count four, 116 months, Department of Corrections, concurrent to count one, count five, the maximum, which is 120 months, concurrent to count one. Your Honor, this is an agreed recommendation to the court for life without parole. There can be no words to fill the void and loss felt by everybody in the room today. The only thing that Mr. Powell can do to express his great remorse for what he has done is to come in and take responsibility. And that's what he's attempting to do today by his actions. Obviously, we were in the midst of preparing what would be called a mitigation report to present to the prosecutor's office. And Mr. Powell, that was not going to be finished for quite some time. And Mr. Powell did not want to delay justice for those in the courtroom today any longer. And he approached us with the desire to immediately plead guilty and take responsibility for his actions. And that's why he sits here today, to do just that. There is no doubt he is filled with remorse and sorrow for those he has hurt. He's expressed that every time I've ever talked to him. And he knows that he doesn't have the words either to truly express how he's feeling. But by his actions today, he's hoping he can send that message to others. The only exception to the plea, Your Honor, is we'd ask the court not to impose any non-mandatory fees. Mr. Powell, would you like to say anything? Your Honor, I'm truly sorry for everything that happened that day. The most serious thing I'm most sorry about is that two fathers got taken away from their minor children. That's something that no family should ever have to experience. I want to thank my friends and family for all their love and support. I am afraid that it continues during my prison sentence. I'm not a bad person or a violent person, and I never expected anything like this to happen. But it did, and now I have to pay the consequences for my involvement. I hope everyone will someday forgive me, and I promise I'll make the best out of this horrible situation. Thank you. Thank you for that. Unfortunately, this court sees way too many cases where someone has been killed. And oftentimes they're young, and their fathers or their husbands or their sons. But I do think it takes on a different twist when that person who was killed is a member of the law enforcement. And as the sheriff said, these are the people that are here to protect us, and without them, well, I don't want to imagine a world without them, quite frankly. So I would like to honor Sheriff Castro's request, and I would like to thank him for his time and his effort. Thank you. Thank you.
and I'd like us to take a few minutes to consider what the community has lost in the loss of this young law enforcement officer. So if we could just pause for a few minutes for a few seconds. very much. Um, you know, it feels, I don't know if others are feeling this, but I sure feel the weight of this moment and the loss that was uh, felt by the family and friends and colleagues of Officer McCartney. Um, I also don't really have adequate words in moments like this. Certainly, Mr. Powell has an, obviously seems to have an appreciation for the wrongfulness of his conduct, and I don't think that the court can further express that. I am, I guess, I would be grateful that he is be taking responsibility for his conduct and doing so in a relatively short fashion uh, compared to uh, many other cases and sparing the family the further uh, emotional trauma of going through lengthy court proceedings, uh, which as um, from my vantage point, I see families going, reliving the trauma over and over again with each court proceeding. So I guess in that respect, um, you're taking the plea today or, or giving, you know, pleading guilty today is, is a good and positive thing. And about the only good and positive thing out of this horrific, horrific event. So, with that, I'm going to sentence you to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. I am going to find that he is indigent. I'll waive all discretionary costs and otherwise adopt the recommendation of the parties. Thank you. 